Knew it for a former Harris County election worker is now facing corruption charges tied to the 2022 election. The district attorney and the Texas Rangers now claim that this one worker's actions caused disruptions during the November 2022 general election. Sherman Chow joins us live from downtown where the district attorney made that announcement. Sherman. Yeah, guys, you know, according to the DA's office, the motive behind all of this was simply greed. They say 35 year old Daryl Blackburn worked full time with the now defunct election administration's office and at the same time for the same hours worked for an oil and gas company for more than a year. Blackburn was a data analyst for the Elections Administration office, and he was in charge of allocating paper ballots to polling stations. Investigators say he allocated the same number of ballots to 98% of all 700 some polling places, despite wildly different historical voter turnouts. The result was chaos, long lines at polling places waiting for hours to be replenished with paper ballots. Prosecutors say, for example, on that particular election day, Blackburn claimed between his two jobs that he worked 26 hours. This is 15 months of sustained double dipping on timesheets. He worked exclusively from home for Harris County, yet frequently worked in person at his other higher paying job in the Woodlands. I do want to say that the investigation found no evidence of intent to impact the outcome of the election for either party. But there certainly was an impact from Election Day chaos at some polling places to civil lawsuits and a Secretary of State's investigation. The oil and gas job, which earned him $250,000 a year, was not an approved second job by the county. The elections job paid him $90,000 that same year. He is charged with five counts of tampering with a document and one of theft by a public servant. Punishment ranges from two to ten years in prison for these various charges. And at five o'clock, we'll explain how paternity leave left Blackburn in even deeper trouble. We are live downtown Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News.